Good morning and welcome to day 26. Yeah, this is a Sheikh Amiel, where we stayed last night. Um, the man Bruno runs it. It's named after his daughter. It was awesome. Oh, it's a beautiful day out there, but it's also already pretty hot. Um, I was going to say, though, this town was supposedly full last night, and it should have been full. I mean, there were so many walkers out yesterday. Oh, that's nice. Um, and then, like, people didn't show up. Like, Bruno's place was supposed to be full. He has room for 12 people. I was the only one there. And uh, he was mildly upset that, you know, nobody called. He understands that things happen. We had a nice little talk during breakfast since it was just the two of us. But, uh, but yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, it's okay if you, you can't go, but at least call him and let him know. He waited till like 11 p.m. and then just said that was it. Time to go to bed. Rob did the same. And actually one of our friends, uh, Frederic, couldn't find a place to stay and I told him, I have an extra bed. And he said, okay. And then he never came back. So not really sure what happened. Oh, that's actually nice, pretty nice too. Oh well, enough talking. So leaving the town is almost as cool as entering it. Though I don't think I showed entering it because yeah, Rob was still rather annoyed at himself for falling yesterday. But it seemed to be okay today. But yeah, these walls, these are awesome. Clearly we're not going that way, but neat road. Wonder how long this goes for. It would be nice if it went 22 kilometers, but I doubt it does, because the shade is awesome. Back in the woods again, which is very welcome. There's a nice breeze up there, you can hear it. But yeah, down in the village, I mean, it was what, 8.15 and it felt like it was 80 already. So we were a bit worried since we've only been out for what, 40 minutes now? And of course, climbing up a mountain again. Today we're going to the highest point of this part of the Camino. It's not going to be the, the hardest day. That was yesterday when we climbed, you know. I think after all was said and done, it's like 2,700 feet up. The highest point was only, ah, oh, crud, I don't remember. But today it's going to be like 3,000 feet. But we only have to climb, I think, 2,000 feet. So not as much as yesterday, but I still enjoy the shade. Especially when, if you look out there, even in that blue, there are little clouds, if any. Still in the woods, imagine that. We actually haven't gone too much farther, but we came across this tree that's been hollowed out and carved, and it says something on there. Maybe we'll read it after this, but uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. It's like a little house. I wonder if you can go inside. Well, Rob can't, but yeah, pretty neat. Might have to take a picture of that. Because uh, so far, there's no one else to take a picture of. Now this one, Rob probably could fit inside the entrance. It's a neat old tree, though. I mean, neat old dead tree, but yeah, we could definitely get inside there. If we needed a place to hide, or if we needed to be transported somewhere, like in multiple movies, though most recently the TV show we watched was from on Epics. And yeah, trees transport you places. Not necessarily good places, but they transport you. A lot of old, dead trees in these here woods. Finally coming out of the woods after about an hour. And uh, this is a nice little town. Not sure what it's called. I'll find out. Woo! That breeze is great. Except uh, when I'm trying to talk because, yeah, you mess with the microphone. Anyway, we're going to stop filming because this is narrow on a road now and I just like this neat little property here with a little tiny waterfall and this lovely little stone road down to their little cottage yeah that would be cool to live there not very close to anything here but it's probably the point you don't want to be close to anything so we're preparing to make our real climb of the day which is going to be a lot I'll tell you how much Yesterday I did look at my fitness tracker and I said, we actually went up like 3,125 feet. I really like this wall though. That's really what I wanted to show you. And that little uh, bridge there between the house and the barn, that is cool. Wow, that water looks so nice. If only you could get down there and have the time 
I mean, they have this nice waterfall that runs through the entire property here. More nice water. Oh, we're headed up here. What was that, Rob? We're headed up the mountain. Woo, yeah. Enunciate, Rob. Stop mumbling. Out of the woods again. Get a nice breeze. Way out there, I think. I don't know. I really can't talk. It's the sun. Where are my eyes? But could that be the remains of the castle? Who knows? But yeah, the sun. It's just bright, bright, bright. Thank goodness for this breeze. Well, Wilson Jr. works on donkeys too. He came to say hello. I'm sorry I don't have anything for you. I know. But uh, looks like you're enjoying your lunch. I'm gonna have lunch soon. Too bad we can't get a roll with flies. Anyway, have a good lunch. Yeah, I know. That's, yeah, I know. It's okay. All right, we'll see you, dude. Yep. It works on horses and on donkeys. And it works to bring mail trucks. Anyone need to do some building? At the almost top of a mountain. There's a lot of wood up here. I wonder when they come pick it up. I mean, nobody's been around to drive my truck up here and build a nice cabin. Pretty much, uh, well, anywhere because there's not people for miles. Well, except for that guy. But I think he's a pilgrim, so. It's not the first time we've been on the Camino and it's been turned into a logging road. Um, other times though, the logging road has been wet and uh, now it's dry. But the thing about logging vehicles is they just rip up the dirt. So right now it's very sandy-like and very loose. And when you walk on it, it picks everything up. You don't know how deep you're gonna go. So yeah, Rob's getting rocks left and right inside his sandals. Uh, when it's wet, then it's like mud and it's deep and it pulls your shoes off. Yeah, I know, I'm just complaining a little bit, but uh, just trying to find a path in the middle of the logging road, which is also the Camino, where it's more solid and stable. But geez, here's some more houses right here. And yet one more thing the logging roads make it hard to do is make sure you're on the Camino because they cut down all the trees. So the trees that have the way marks on it, well, they haven't been replaced yet by something. So. Yeah, I think we walked probably about, I don't know, 300, 400, maybe half a kilometer too far. So, gonna have another extra kilometer today. Not a big deal, but hopefully we can find the right track around the corner up here, uh, according to my map. But uh, yeah, too many logging roads. So the guidebook didn't say anything about passing Aeolian today. But yeah, it's quite a few of them. They're pretty darn huge. But since we lost the marks a long time ago, we really aren't sure where we're at. I mean, we know where we're at because the GPS works and we'll be fine. But we've definitely gone up higher than uh, we expected to. We've already gone up 3,100 feet today. And I think the top was only like 3,100 feet. So the fact that we've gone up 3,100 feet and the fact that we see the LEN makes me think this must be the top. So that's what we're hoping for. I must say though, this is the closest I've ever been to a working windmill. I've seen them on the freeway and they're huge, but man, that's crazy huge. Oh. Bet you that door's locked. We're not even trying. So right next to the Aeolian, someone was kind enough to put this map <clears throat> that tells us we are here. You see that? Uh, 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 yeah, like the weatherman, because there's like an inch of glass of space between the glass and the map. And somewhere around here, we lost the JR 653, which is here. But it looks like we're about to run back into it again, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm not sure where we went wrong. Well, we went wrong because logging. So, we're coming down the mountain, but we still haven't seen any way marks whatsoever uh, for the JR, the JR uh, 663, um, no, no, <laughs> but um, we have seen a sign that said, the, um, what was it? Oh crap, I can't remember now. The Saint's Way, I think it was. And then uh, we pulled out our GPS again 
and we found this trail. Which I know it doesn't quite look like a trail, and just like the Saints Way was, I don't think many people have been on this trail in a while, but it's getting us down the mountain. Let's just hope it's getting us to where we need to go. Well, we're not quite sure how it happened because the Saints Way and the woods and the leaves and the trail was right over there. We come around a corner, we see a sign that says private property. Yep, there it is. And, and we're back. So it was meant to happen. I think though, we're about two, two and a half kilometers longer on the day, which still, it's not a big deal because yeah, 24 kilometers is still better than yesterday's 31. But, um, and coming down the mountain, has been very nice. It, we've been mostly in woods, um, sometimes some tall grass and the grass was soft. It's hard to sometimes feel what's underneath the leaves, but uh, yeah, it's, oh, we're just glad to be back. <sighs> Give me a number four shot from the, the woods that we just came out of, because basically we went up that mountain all day and now the view has totally changed. That's the way we're going, but check this out. That's totally different than what we saw on the other side. It's pretty awesome. Six hours later, uh, I think we're finally getting a glimpse of our stop for today. Mirasaveb, or Mirasavebra, or something like that. I'll put the name down, but uh, whew, that wind is great. And actually, Bernard was complaining about the wind because he was cold, and I'm like, man, this is perfect for me. Might not be perfect for you watching the video because you might just be hearing the wind and not me. And again, maybe that's perfect. Maybe you don't want to hear me. Well, we've made it. Here we are at we got lots of air. And, uh, at least two miles extra and at least 800 feet up extra. But hey, it is what it is. Now all we gotta do is find the sheet. And it wants to go across the street. So we'll go across the street. Yeah, that's pretty coming. And uh, then we'll look at our map, find the sheet, Whew. and we can relax. So we're at our sheet and uh, we're just outside sitting, looking at the trees, listening to the wind. These trees are awesome. The sun's still shining bright, but uh, there's a tree in the way. So Rob's sitting in the shade of the tree. And that lovely building there, that's the sheet, though it's not the lovely part. We're actually staying in the basement of that building, but it's still lovely because for 12 euros, we have a bed and it's cold and Rob loves cold after a hot day, though not everybody does. Anyway, I'm showing you these trees again because I think they're really cool, but this will probably be the last shot of the day. Ooh, and the Aeolian. Yeah, we were up there. I don't think we were supposed to be, but we were. 